Hi, it's Cliff here for YC Test Drive. Thank you so much for those that are following YC Test Drive YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Today, I bring for you the VW Golf. MK7, Golf 7, Max 7, they call it. Her name is Bluey. So Bluey is my cousin's Golf, made for the Japanese market. You see, uh, there are cars that are made for the European markets. There are cars that are made for the... Asian markets, and then there are cars made for African markets and also America and South America. And these cars might differ uh, compared to the cars that are made for Africa, for example. He directly imported it from Japan, and I can tell you this is the best decision that I think he has ever made in terms of buying a car. I know why. It comes with a 16 inch alloy ring, which really looks good. Um, with the indicators on the mirrors, of course. This car actually is the masters of saving fuel, and I'll show you why I say that. It's called Bluey because as soon as he bought it, the wife named it Bluey. It actually suits the name. That's her name. It's a TSI engine, a 1.4 uh, liter engine, blue motion technology. I think this is really a good buy. Knowing the amount of money that he spent getting this car, which I'm not going to go into detail now, um, what he got this car for, bringing it all the way from Japan, all the way to here, um, all the costs, it's a bargain for this car. And he only got it with less than 25,000 kilometers on the clock. It's really, really a good car. I like the, the lining of the, the, the headlamps uh, with the fog lights right there. And you have your sensors there, which I will, uh, will explain the collision uh, detection sensor or, or assist and um, all that. Water uh, spray for your headlamps right there as well, which is really good for this car. You have rain sensors as well for a 1.4. Let me show you inside how it looks like. He said it's dirty. I told him it's even much better than the Fiesta. Because if you look at the Fiesta seats, yeah, he's just trying to be fancy. Anyway, um, the interior, it's cloth interior. I like the seats. I'm not a fan of cloth interior as usual, but still I like uh, how clean this cloth interior is. I like the fact that you have that as well there. Um, we'll discuss more about it. Look at that. It looks good for a 1.4 uh, easy and it, it has a lot of tech this car uh, because it's made for the Japanese market it comes with lots of extras that you wouldn't find on a normal 1.4 here right and the back side you have enough space I have my backpack there oh he's a patriot uh, this guy has a Namibian flag in his car in his car uh, really quite good space for the back uh, I, th I should say it's much bigger than the Ford Fiesta. You have that armrest there with your two cup holders. And you can actually pull this compartment and access the back right from here. If you want to, if there's no one here and to access the back and you're traveling, you can still do that. But um, it's still quite good space. Other than this hump, I think for someone who's sitting in the middle, this can be too much. And you have the airbags right there. The boot space, let's have a look at the boot space. Good and enough boot space right there. You also have a 12, a 12 volt plug in, so that means you can, uh, you can also plug in your fridge, the car fridge in here. So you have a camera, a reverse camera, which pops out here when you put it in reverse, which we will discuss about. So really, to be fair enough, this car is a good car. You will never go wrong when it comes to these VW cars. Let me also share with you uh, the nice things about this car. Let's take it for a test drive. A test drive. Oh yeah, by the way, it has this, which works with my old um, iPod. The owner has been telling me that he has been looking for a USB port, but there's nothing. It only has this. Oh, the car does not have much in terms of fuel um, so I need to add some fuel in here uh, for the owner so yeah that's what usually happens when I borrow people's cars 
always have to fuel them. That's just how it should be done. That's how you can appreciate people that gives you cars. So you can throw in a little bit of fuel for them and they will appreciate it. So um, that's what I always do. I just throw in maybe like a 200 in day just for a few times that I'm driving the car. And for someone who drives the car would understand what it is um, and how much uh, the cost of fuel is. So I cannot just take someone's car and start driving it around and bring it back. The cost of fuel on their budget um, is quite a lot. So this is, these are some of the things that I go through creating content for you. But anyway, back to the Golf. This car has a lot of features that I will run through with you right now. First of all, it's the on-off um, auto for when you stop, which I just showed you now here. Of course, you have that soft emergency brake right there, and you even have the auto hold brakes right here as well. So that's good. I like the fact that you still have this classic VW aircon uh, winding um, knobs and the way how it just looks clean, it's fairly clean, it comes um, right here. Here you have a DSG gearbox, direct shift gearbox in here, uh, which you have paddle shift on the steering wheel. You have a 7 speed um, gearbox, that's which you can press push this side, you can then have semi-automatic um, where you can be changing gears yourself. And there's no need to do that really in the city, so, so it's good to keep it in auto. You have your paddle shift, as I said, you can shift there. You also have lane assist on this car. Lane assist it will always be pulling you into the lane if you're falling asleep, which is good. You have adaptive cruise control in here. You have the collision detection, the, uh, detection. Uh, so you can be able to see when the car is, it can warn you when the car is close to you. Voice control, quite good on this car. As VW, it just feels really smooth. The heading display shows me which direction I'm heading to. Um, or when someone driving a learning truck, then very slow. See, when you want to overtake like here, you just, just, you just oh, let me not finish this small fuel left in here. It just picks up um, quite quite quick. It, it picks up when you flow it, this TSI engine, it just really picks up very, very quick. Uh, you have the auto lights as well. You just keep your lights on auto. They didn't the sunset, it just steering wheel it has this flat base here at the bottom it's really good i like the small armrest usually should be adjustable like this especially if you can pull it in front yes you can always pull it in front for bw i like that armrest it's good yeah you have heated mirrors as well you can hit your mirrors yeah, the mirror has so much space for me to see at the back Perfect. If you open the windows for too long, and as I'm driving now with the windows open, it will start telling me that uh, at a certain speed, I think it's 80 kilometers an hour. Uh, at 80 kilometers an hour, if you open the windows, it will start telling you that uh, there's so much drag. The drag that I was saying. So, all that is part of fuel saving. It's comfortable. The suspension is still really good, it's still, still quite new. How many kilometers does it have? I think it's about 30,000 now uh, kilometers on it, so it's still fairly, fairly new car. You also have world temperature uh, here. You can have different temperature on the other side, different temperature on this side, you can synchro. And these are, these are reliable cars. All it needs is to make sure that you maintain it in terms of servicing it. Usually people sometimes struggle with the gearbox you need to find someone who knows how to service the gearbox at the right time and to use the right uh, type of oil for the gearbox um, otherwise if you maintain this car you stay this car will last you for years and years and years and years 
the only thing that I would change in this car, if I'm to get it, a car like this one, would be the rims. I like the 16 inch rims, they are very light and few, which is good. But I would put maybe 17 and just better rims. Um, and I would also add a sound system. The, the speakers, the, the original speakers are really good. Um, the original speakers are really good. It's just that I would want to put in a subwoofer plus maybe an amplifier. That's the only thing that I would do on this one. And maybe uh, smoke the lights, the tail lights a bit. Um, and that's it. I want to see how or how way to go with the 200 your your machine is just here i'm saying your machine is just always here yeah. okay i want to see where they got 200 oh they got 200 went a little bit further which is good 